YouTube. This is Sabir Spray Megan. Uh, so this is that video that I promised you Beba is here too. She's hanging out. Um, this is the video that I promised you about my scrapbooking technique of tags for my book of shadows. requests to see it um, and a lot of great suggestions for how I could show it without showing all of my book. So what I did was I did one full page in my book. So when you open it up, it has both sides. And I did that without putting any information in. I just did what I would do for scrapbooking and then um, and all the tags, but without any of the information. So I kind of did all that. And then I've made a ton of tags so that you can see because unfortunately I've already scrapbooked uh, quite a bit in my book and um, it's really hard for me to go back and take out information that I don't want to share. So I did those two pages so you can see what it looks like in a book and then I made a bunch of tags that I'm going to use for the rest of my book as I make things and for other places that I didn't put any information on yet. So you can see how I make the tags and how creative you can be. Um, and I really encourage you, I would love it if people could do video responses and show me um, their scrapbooking ideas and how they might make a tag. I think that would be really fun. So that's what I want to show you today. It's going to take a li little bit. There's quite a lot of tags. I've been really busy. Um, for those of you that don't know, I got picked to be um, one of the sub hosts on the Pagan Perspective. So I'll put their, um, their link below. And I'm really excited about it. It was so much fun doing a video. And if you look uh, on my main channel page, one of my playlists has Pagan Perspective. So you can see all of my videos for the Pagan Perspective. There's only one right now, but hopefully there'll be more soon. Um, we got to talk about music in your practice, and it was really exciting, and I had a good time with it. And Bebe makes a little cameo and does something a little unladylike. So you might want to check it out. It's near the end. Um, so, oh, and one more thing. I got something really special that I was really excited about and I wanted to share it with you guys. So um, I'll save that for the end of the video. So if all you want to see is my cool little special thing that I bought, skip to the end. But um, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you um, what it looks like on me and then I'll show you up close. It's really pretty and it's for when I do Renaissance fairs. So, but to the book first and to the tags. So my book is very large, so it's going to be hard for me to hold up. Uh, so bear with me a little bit here. So the page that I did, guys, um, I did an elemental page. So it's both sides when you open it up. Like I said, it's the two pages. And I did uh, air for you guys. So this would be air. There we go. All right. Now I got it. So um, down here I have like a little, uh, little decorative element. I'm not sure how well you can see it. It's got beautiful colors in it. And I cut it out in a different pattern. And as you can see, it's a pocket and I put little tags in it like this. So those tags go inside and this little pocket holds things. This um, up here guys that is also a pocket, you can see it lifts up and I can stick tags underneath there. And then over here, it's also a little pocket and I can stick tags underneath here as well as up here is a pocket and over there is a pocket. So these little tags, I'll show you in a second, but see how they fit right in your book? So the whole page kind of looks like, like this, but when you stick the tag in, I then have little space to put the tag. I can write whatever I need on the tag itself, take the tag out, and then I can use this for ritual or for a spell, for whatever I need. You can write ingredients on these, you can write incantation chant, anything you need, but you can pull it out without having to lug this huge big book um, out with you. I mean, as, I, as you can see, it's a very, very large book. Um, it's huge. It, um, you can probably see from the corner, it, I, I have uh, about 1,200 pages in this book, um, 600 sheets, and then 1,200 front and back. So it's quite large, and, um, and it's hard to carry around with me, you know, for ritual to ritual and 
and certainly if I need to travel or things like that. So this way I can just pull out whatever tag I need, whatever tags that I might need for wherever I'm going or whatever I'm doing, and then afterwards I can just stick them back in and it looks beautiful at the same time. I think that's the key is it's one thing to just put the, um, the tags in your book, but it's another thing to have them be inventive and different, you know, to have something like this where I can put the tag underneath or I can stick it down in here and I can put the tags in different places and it still looks beautiful and pretty and unique and I think that's really special um, and it makes your book stand out and um, it's also interactive and fun which like I said is really important for me when I want to have kids you know this is going to be much more exciting for them to look at and want to learn about and things like that if they can you know pull out little tags from here and there and discover things in the book I think it'll be really exciting so let me get put this away and I'll be back and we'll look at the tags okay guys I'm back I'm ready to do tags so a um, couple of the tags are kind of plain and a couple of them are more intricate so this one um, I'm actually gonna probably use for um, one of my pages that I have around different types of Samhain rituals and things. Um, so this one, it would be, uh, this side would be given some um, acid-free tape, some archival tape, and then it would go in like this. And what's nice about this is that then I can take another tag and I can actually put that, here I'll show you, I can actually take the other tag and I can put it right inside like this. See? So when this goes in flat into my book, then I can stick tags into it from there. So I thought that one was really cute. So this one is of um, Diana and just this beautiful picture. Um, and I just really love the picture. So I cut it out. I made sure that I um, matted it correctly, um, put it on a little tag with ribbon and did some little extras, some stickers and things. And then on the back, I have just a little um, sticker that says uh, memories, and um, it has some lines for me to, to write things. Actually, it says memorable moments. So it was a sticker that I had for scrapbooking. Um, I want to utilize some of these items that I've had um, for different things because it really looks pretty, and I can write on it. So this, was, um, this one is a unique tag, actually. Um, it's round. And so as you can see here, it's this really pretty sticker. It's actually raised up. And then I did this glitter. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of glittery um, on the outside edge. But the reason I did that is because on the back, I have a complete zodiac chart. Oh, the glare. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I have a whole zodiac chart on the back. So I just thought that would be a fun little, uh, little tag to stick in. That way I can pull it out if I'm teaching my children about the zodiac, things like that, or future children. Um, so this tag was, I thought was cute. Um, it's this beautiful paper. Um, you actually make it with, um, with shaving cream. It's really exciting. And then uh, this was just a little page I did um, with some rub-ons. Thought that was pretty, but it's got a little hole punched at the top and then I can write stuff on it and it's got this beautiful back. All right, this one, um, has a little fairy sprite face on it and I just colored in some of the leaves and it's got beautiful paper on the back but this one I love because it's got lots of room to write I kinda learned as I was doing it so some of them you're gonna notice I get better and better <laughs> because I realized wait a minute that little tag that I just made it's really cute but what the heck am I gonna write on it I'm gonna write all of so mode it be, and that'll be it. There won't be any more room for anything. So I really needed to figure out a way to make bigger tags so I could actually fit all the things that I want on them. So um, here's an example of, again, making a small tag, but this one was just so pretty I had to go for it. So this one would be mounted in the book like this, like this, if this is the my hand's the page, it'd mount this way. So it opens up like this. And the little black uh, decorative edge at the bottom is actually a little pocket. So see, it fits that right inside. Um, so this is just a little cute rose stamp tag that I embossed. And then it's just blank on the back, so I can write something on it. And then this up here, I did a little um, punch cut. And this has a little tag as well. 
that I can write things on. And then on the back it has, I don't know if you can see, it has some embossing. And then over here in the corner, this is a little, I don't have anything in it at the moment. Actually, here we go. Um, put this little guy in here. And see, there's a little spot. And this actually is a little um, envelope. As you can see there, it kind of opens up like that. Isn't that cute? So that can go, sorry, I'm doing this backwards, guys. Um, that can go in there. So I thought that one was really cute. Okay, so the next one, as I said, this is a long video, guys. So if you're really interested, watch, or maybe even like just sort of skip ahead if you don't want to see everything. Um, so this one is a great tag. Uh, it's actually a double-sided tag, so I can write on this side, I can write that way or this way. And then on this side, the pocket is here. So in it, I have this little tag that I can write on that has pretty paper on the back. Um, let's see, this one that's really pretty um, and has a little fairy on the back, but it's also got this cute little brad that I put on the top. Also have this little pocket there. I can write lots of stuff on that one. And then again, another little bradded one with really pretty paper on the back. And then I just did little rub-ons for here and here. All right, let me try, see if I can make, through, get through this. This one's really pretty. Um, it's this beautiful paper with herbs in it. And then on the back, it's got this beautiful stamp. Um, this one I love. It's got this beautiful paper here. And then on the back, I put this so that I can write an incantation or whatever I need. And then it's got this great little, um, you can see, this little curly cue. Isn't that awesome? It's metal, and so it holds it. The reason why you need uh, something at the top of your tags or you want something at the top of your tags is because you need to be able to pull them out. So it's nice to have a little pull tab at the top because um, sometimes they'll get stuck in the pockets. This one is gorgeous paper. Um, and then on this side, it's double-sided again, I have a little pocket here for an, a little, another little tag that I made. This one has a really adorable little pull tab. See on the top, it's a little flower. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm getting there. We're getting there. This one, um, I really love. I put a little, um, a little butterfly uh, rub on in the corner, and this one I did a little pull tab um, in the corner, and then I have plenty of space to be able to write on that side. I love this one. This one will mount this way, and this is actually embossed with silver. I love it. And then, so it'll mount onto the page this way, and then it folds up like this. And then I have room to write here, and in here I have space. See, this is another space for a tag to go in. So I thought that was really cute. This one's probably one of my favorites. This will mount this way. And on the outside here, um, I just made some, you know, pretty uh, decorative elements. Um, and I don't know if you can see, oh, there we go. Um, there's this beautiful writing that you can't really read, but it's really pretty um, in the background. And then I just went over this stamp with marker um, to outline it. And then this is a pocket on this way, which is cool, which has another, um, another little tag with this beautiful little pull tab there. So I can put that in the side. And then this flips up, and I've got a little envelope here at the top where I can put different little things in. Isn't that exciting? I love that one. Yay. <laughs> so this one would mount this way, like this. And this one actually opens up like this. And this one has a bunch of tags in it. This one has tags um, on both sides. These tags right here on both sides. And then in the center here, it has a big tag, has this beautiful sticker. And this is, um, the background here is called Zentangle. Um, it's it's just drawing, doodling basically over and over again. But it's really similar to the henna work that I do. So um, I just thought I would add some stuff like that into it. So this little tag is um, great because I can pull this whole thing out. And this one actually holds more tags. I thought that was kind of fun. So it actually holds in here. I've got a couple of different tags um, in here in this first pocket. So it's got one pocket there, and then in the back, it's got another pocket with this tag that I have the entire back to be able to write on. So 
It's actually got two whole pockets that I just love. Um, so that, and that goes in the other pocket. So it's like pockets within pockets. It's kind of fun. Um, I've had so much fun with this, guys. So um, I'm really excited about it. Um, but now I need to get all the information written on it. So I needed to make this video so that now I can start writing the information. Um, okay. So then I tried to start making uh, some bigger uh, tags just because I realized I needed more room. So this is one of the bigger tags. I can write here. This one also has a, a little hole at the top for another tag, um, which is awesome. And then on the back, I did this with a little rub on. And then if you can see, there's a couple little gems in there. And I just did some hole punching on the side. And this is parchment. And I can write on this whole thing, which I just love. I, I mean, I think it's gorgeous. And, and it's a nice big tag. It'll fit in. And um, I, I can get a large amount of information on this. So I actually made one more similar to that. I did this side of it with just a little empty space. And then again, this side, which has a couple little gems at the top. And I just thought it was great because I get all that room to write. And it's just, it's wonderful. Okay, we're getting down. I've got like three more or something. Oh, well, yeah, three more ish. <laughs> so this one I thought was cute. Again, this was, um, is a little multi tag. It has room on the back here for me to write, lots of room. And then on this side, it's got a little rose, and then it's got another little thing, little tag, and that actually says fennel, because um, this is a old world picture of fennel um, from one of my um, my magazines. So I thought that was great. And then I can write on the back. All right, now we're getting down to the wire. Okay, this is another uh, double sided. Uh, tag so this will go in um, in a pocket in the book and it actually has tags on both sides so the first side is this side it has one pocket down here and inside I've got three tags as you can see I can write quite a bit on these they're pretty large and I can write here on the back of the actual tag of the big tag itself so it's got tags within tags and then the next side I've got two pockets here and there this one just has a little butterfly on it and then has parchment on the back. And um, this one is way too small for anything. I don't know why I made this thing, but whatever. Um, and then there's this, these pockets up here, which are awesome. Um, so this one, this first one, I'm probably going to use this actually as a title bar for one of my pages instead of a tag, just because I think it looks so pretty sideways. And I thought that that would look really nice. Um, and, and just write on it with maybe like silver Sharpie or something to put a title of one of my pages on. I thought it just looked so pretty. Um, and then there's this tag. I love wax. I love doing wax seals. So I just thought that was really pretty. Um, and I can write on the back. And again, just another little tag. And I can write on the back. Okay. Last tag, guys. Last tag. Okay. So this one will be mounted in like this. And then opens up. Oh, and as you saw, there was, you know, a little, there's a little clasp closure. And then open it up. Isn't that paper gorgeous? I love this paper. It is all embossed and raised up. It is so cool. So there's a little tag in this corner right there. And it has a little room for writing on the back. And then this one has a, has a little pocket there for a tag here that I can write on the back. And then it's got all sorts of glitter and little puff paint that I drew on it. Can you see, guys? Oh, it's just so exciting. And then I can write here if I need to, too. So that is that last uh, last tag, guys. Oh, I had so much fun with this. Oh, and then if you are interested at all in Zentangle, there's a little Zentangle for you. You can kind of see it up close. Um, it's fun. It's different. So... That is the, um, all my tags and that's one of the scrapbook stuff. So what I plan on doing is, um, as I make pages, um, the ones that I've already made that I've written on, I really can't show you. So that's why I made that, um, new one without writing. Typically when I make them, I actually write at the same time that I'm making it. So what I'm going to try and do is if there's some interest and let me know, comment below if there's still interest. Um, but I will start when I make a page. I'll, I won't write on it and then I'll make a video of it before I write on it so that way you can see some um, 
some examples of what I've been doing and maybe get some inspiration. So now as promised, the la end of this video, I know it is so long and you guys have been so awesome, but I really got to show you what I, what I got and I love it. So I got a beautiful headpiece from a seller on Etsy called The Verdant Muse. Absolutely beautiful work, guys. I mean, she, it, it's just, it's insane how beautiful this stuff is. And I needed a nice headpiece for when I do Renaissance fairs. So I'm going to show you the headpiece and then I'll also show you a clip of it on my head um, as well. Okay, here goes. It is so beautiful. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that shimmer, that glitter. This piece actually sits up, so when it sits on your head, it kind of comes back. These pieces, they sit by your ears. It's amazing. It kind of looks like, like that when it's on. And when you have your hair all done right, it looks, it looks the way it's supposed to look. But isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh. I got excited about it. I just thought it looked so gorgeous. I have a video, um, I have a picture of me um, with it. Um, oh, now my hair's everywhere. I have a picture of with it on me. So I'll, I'll post that. So see, it looks so pretty and it's so exciting and it is so well made. Um, she really, it, it's exquisite. It's a little expensive, but oh my gosh, it is just absolutely gorgeous. So I couldn't uh, recommend her more enough and uh, I'm just really excited about the fair season. It's coming up. I can't wait for the warm weather. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday for those that uh, celebrate and um and I really hope that everyone has a good week. And check out the Pagan Perspective because I'm really excited. I'm a sub now. So what that means is I'll be posting one video a month. Um, the last week of the month is always subs week. And I don't know if I'll stay on Tuesdays. This week I posted on Tuesday uh, as my day. It might change. Um, so definitely check out the Pagan Perspective. And I might be Tuesday again. I might not. We'll see. And I might fill in too if any of the regular hosts uh, get sick or, or need a break or something. So I'm really excited about being a part of it. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend um, and rest of their week and blessed be.